Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Glacial Chasm from the new event that's coming out next week, which is the Dawning. It's a fusion rifle and it's a high impact frame. So I personally would probably never farm for the God Roll, mostly because I don't really care about fusion rifles to begin with. But if you're someone who actually d does like fusion rifles, then I can definitely recommend you what I would get if I was looking for this weapon. But looking at the rolls, I might farm for a PvE and a P PvP roll just because of the rolls that it's getting. So let's look at the perks real quick. Ambitious Assassin, Slide Shot, Under Pressure, Surplus, Field Prep, and Killing Wing for the first row. For the second row, it's going to be Demolitionist, Surrounded, Unrelenting, Swashbuckler, Auto Loading Holster, and High Impact Reserves. So. If I remember correctly, high impact already comes with high impact reserves, or I'm sorry, the high impact frame already comes with high impact reserves. So I wonder if it can double dip. If it doesn't, then I mean, high impact reserves is obviously going to be your friend in PvP. I would most likely tell you something along the lines of maybe like surplus or killing wind with high impact reserves would be really gross in PvP for PvE, you'd be wanting to go with something like Ambitious Assassin and most likely like either Swashbuckler or Demolitionist, with Demolitionist probably being the one I would go for. But if I really think about it, you could probably get away with Under Pressure and High Impact Reserves. Those two would always be procking at the beginning of every round and every time you respawn. So Under Pressure and High Impact Reserves will already be working for you. But if you are a player that usually has more rounds in the in the magazine than usual, then I would probably tell you either Killing Wind or Surplus would be a really good addition because Killing Wind obviously gives you more mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. Couple that with maybe high impact reserves or like Demolitionist, I think would be really good. In PvP, maybe, maybe Swashbuckler? I don't know if Swashbuckler is the play, unless like maybe one bolt at Swashbuckler times five can just outright kill people. If that's the case, then it'd be pretty foul. It would be nasty. But yeah, let's go to something I usually never talk about, which is the batteries or the magazine, so to speak. I would most likely go for accelerated coils it speeds up to charge it but it decreases the impact it's by 10 and increases it by 10 it's a high impact already so making it faster just seems logical to me but if you really want to have a fat and i mean a fat fucking hit then liquid coils is probably going to be the best one for you because it does increase the impact by 10 but it decreases the charge by 10 so just be aware of that. Obviously you have other magazine perks like enhanced battery it gives you plus 20 on magazine. It's not literally 20, it's just a 20% increase. Uh, you can do a bunch of things. I wouldn't go for range necessarily. Uh, if I remember correctly, legendary or fusion rifles are not hit scan anymore or something along the lines. I don't remember off the top of my head, but all I remember is fusion rifles don't really take advantage of range as much as like other weapons if i remember correctly uh if anyone knows please uh, uh, correct me in the comments below but yeah that's pretty much what i would go for for pve i would either go ambitious assassin surplus to some extent and even killing to some extent um and demolitionist if unrelenting works i would probably do that but i, I still have not seen that work under pre or high impact reserves is really cool. Uh, I don't want any holster. I can see people uh, arguing that's it, that it's good. For PvP, I would tell you honestly everything except ambitious assassin is good. Even even field prep because it increases your ammo reserves, faster reload, stow and ready when you're crouched. I think that's really good, especially since you don't have to stay crouched the whole time. You can just crouch, reload, and then just walk up and walk around. <clears throat> I think Killing Wind and Surplus is going to be the ones that I specifically look for, but Under Pressure and High Impact Reserves are legit like the best combination. For the second row for PvP, obviously High Impact Reserves is just going to do you so much better. Uh, Swashbuckler, if you like to punch a lot, just seems very like 
if Swashbuckler can like one tap with one bolt, I just don't see why you wouldn't use that. But you do have to get five stacks or a melee kill, so I understand why people wouldn't do that. Surrounded, I probably would not do that. I personally don't like surrounded, but if you do, be go ham. I don't know. And auto loading holster, I could see people arguing. So that's pretty much it, guys. I like I said, I didn't have much planned for this video because I don't even have the gun yet. But I wanted to go over the perks because I thought they were interesting enough. And so that way you can plan ahead and, th and think about like what roles you want. I'm kind of ex I'm kind of excited for this uh, fusion rifle now that I'm completely honest. Like under pressure and high impact reserves would be pretty interesting. It's just like. I'm not very good at fusion rifles, mostly because I don't use them all that much. So I'm probably just gonna start practicing this week because when when people were using fusion rifles, I was pretty good, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone, I really appreciate it. And I will most likely show you guys my bloopers of me just trying to record this because i thought they were really funny so i'll i'll be right back or i'll see you guys later yo what ow what the fuck yo what is up guys so for today we're gonna be talking about this too now specifically we're gonna be looking at the legendary fusion rifle that's coming out in next week in season of dawn oh my god bro like don't eat this don't be dumb please Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the new Fusion Rifle that's getting introduced next week. Fuck. Yo, what is up, guys? So <laughs> I was about to say next year like a fucking potato. Yo, what is up, guys? So for today... Fuck, I, I got the giggles. Fuck. Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we... 